And we now have the pleasure to be joined by the new field hockey head coach here at Hofstra, Hillary Fitz. Hillary, thanks for a couple of minutes. Of Welcome course. to Hofstra. Thank you, thank you. I'm very happy to be here. So what drew you to this opportunity and Hofstra specifically? Sure. Um, so, you know, CAA conference foe um, coming from William Mary. Know the ins and outs of Hofstra, Long Island, love it. Um, I went to Fairfield up in Connecticut. So, you know, being pretty local to that and understanding that, I thought that was a neat little tie to it um, with friends and family. And then I think just the fact that Hofstra is a very, very strong, um, there's so much talent on this team. And I think there's so much to go for them that they can be very, very good when it, you know, in a year, come two years, three yeah. years, and just making it a consistent CAA conference opportunity. So let's go back to the beginning for you. Sure. How did you get into playing field hockey growing up? Um, I actually played soccer my whole life and basketball and softball and didn't pick up field hockey till high school. Okay. Um, it was something that I actually, in Delaware, soccer's in the fall and then you get to high school and high school it is in the spring. Okay. So once you get to the spring, I was like, what do I do in the fall? Yeah. And I literally picked up field hockey right then and there, my freshman year of high school. So was it a, a quick transition for you to, to become good enough, obviously, to, to play <laughs> and, and coach at this level? Sure. Mm. Um, you know, I think it was something, obviously, you learn as you grow. And then the more that you kind of settle yourself into the sport, I think the easier it comes to you skills-wise. So in your experience as a player, obviously, as an assistant coach, you know, what kind of style suits your team and, and how do you want to implement that here at yep. Austria? Um, I truly believe that you know I'm one with speed so I think having the structure of playing within the system of personnel that you have and then using the speed on top of it I think kind of goes a very long way. Um, my style is a mix of a mixed bag of both methodical plus going forward fast so I'm excited to see the talent that they have individually and then the efficiency in which we can bring it together. So you mentioned before you come from William and Mary mm -hmm. in the conference, so you're familiar, uh, of course, with the CAA. Now, what experiences that you had at William and Mary can you bring with you here to Hofstra, and how can that you know influence uh, your coaching style here? Absolutely. Um, I think something that's really cool and unique is that my um, former boss, Tess Ellis, is from Australia, and I really like the way in which they have their style of play and formation. Um, and it's you know it's super keen on the interchanging and the fluidity of the game. And I believe that that's something that I'll bring to here, as well as with my style of both speed, um, the hockey IQ, uh, you know, everything else to go with it on top of. What originally made you want to get into coaching after you were done playing? Uh, funny story, I went into finance to begin with um, when I graduated college because I had a finance and marketing degree. Uh, after about a year and a half, I was like, well, I'm kind of bored. I want to kind of go back to doing some field hockey and coaching and ended up volunteering on the side for a little bit and eventually just was said goodbye to the finance world and went right back into coaching and have not left since. Is there something, um, you know, day to day when you wake up in the morning and you, you know, on a practice day or a game day that really, you know, lights the fire to, to be a coach for you? I mean, honestly, <laughs> just being able to go to practice or a game and seeing yeah. the girls. Um, I think it's so cool to have people you know, watching them grow up in front of your eyes, but also kind of having similar personalities, differing personalities, and getting to play a little bit with them and seeing, you know, how they grow. And nothing really lights a fire under the fact that I just wake up and I just love what I do. Yeah. But. Um, what moment, either as a player or in your coaching career before, makes you the most proud now? Um, coaching, I would say, would be the dominant response to that. Um, or the primary response to it because last year when we won CAAs, it was very, very, I, I don't know, I just absolutely loved how we went from two years before we were three and 13, and then we ended up just completely going in the right trajectory over the next couple of years. And, you know, one of the coolest things is when we were at the CAA tournament in Delaware, um, one of our players actually had like a it's not a cool moment, but it was like almost a near tragedy moment. Mm -hmm. And ever since then, it was just like they connected on all levels. And there's something so unique about being able to see that and then how they just came together as like basically a family. And yeah. I've never seen them finish each other's sentences so quickly and almost finish each other's actions too. And that was a very cool moment to see. And then basically being proud from the fact that they were able to win the CAAs. 
Uh, it's been you know a short time since you've gotten this job. What is the best piece of advice you've gotten so far? Um, enjoy the moment. Don't let everything kind of overwhelm you. But you know, see, put the process in place and kind of see how it goes, um, and then grow with the girls. You know, being a student athlete now, as you you get into your uh, your role here as a head coach, it's tough, right? Mm -hmm. it, nowadays, uh, what kind of advice do you have, not just for your players, but just any you know student athlete now that's navigating you know the, the changing world of college athletics? Um, be patient and flexible is a big thing, as well as one of my favorite quotes from Walt Whitman is, um, "Be curious, not judgmental." Yeah. It's also in Ted Lasso, which is a great show. <laughs> a fantastic uh, show. Yes, it is. <laughs> But I think it's one of the best um, quotes that you can see nowadays and kind of making sure that people are asking more questions than sort of pushing people off or being super judgmental when it's not necessary. All right, we have some rapid fire for you to get to, get to know Hillary the person now, not okay. just the coach. Um, what advice would you give your younger self? Whew, um, take it one day at a time and continue to learn. Um, I was very much a go, go, go kid lots of energy so probably being more present in the moment instead of you know seeing how fast I could get through things yeah um, you're here on Long Island now mm -hmm. pizza and bagels which one ooh pizza okay what kind what's your favorite topping uh, <laughs> I'm a fancy one okay I like like the cooked prosciutto with fig jam and oh, wow. okay. hot honey or balsamic glaze so um, you're going to the high-end pizza yes thin crust nice and crispy all right, so we'll, we'll work on finding a local spot. I <laughs> yes. guess you haven't come across I that in a little yet. bit. No. Nope. Okay. Um, your favorite movie of all time? Ooh, Dirty Dancing. Oh, I like Hands that. Hands down. Okay. Um, favorite musical artist? Mm, Mumford and Sons. Okay. Do you like to read? I do. Okay. You have a favorite book? Probably the Harry Potter, Harry Potter series, but um, nothing stands out as like my favorite versus another. Okay. When you're not coaching, you know, playing, what do you like to do with your free time? Everything and anything active. Okay. Uh, you know, going to the beach, playing pickleball, going hiking. Um, what else can I add there? Golf, love golf. Uh, Have you ever had a hole in one? No, and I'm still trying for one. Okay. Uh, well, a lot of great golf courses around here. Anything I'm that Beth you, Page, have, yeah, yes. have you thought about that yes, when you want to play? I would love okay. to. Yeah. All right, Beth Page Black, look out. Um, do you like to cook? I do. Okay, anything you can make specifically? My favorite meal to make is probably steak, potatoes, and green beans. Simple, Very but... Simple and mm -hmm. good. Okay. Um, your favorite ice cream flavor? Of all Coffee or cappuccino crunch. Interesting. A little different. All right, well, Hillary, welcome to Hofstra. Thank Thanks you. so much for a few minutes. Thank we you. look forward to watching uh, Hofstra Field Hockey here. Thank you very much. Coming up in the fall. Perfect. Thank you. Thanks, everybody, for watching.